was nice to see Harry's parents. So I'm just looking forward to this weekend where I can clean out everything in our house. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been telling people that I am reclaiming my territory. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have another garage sale and just donate the rest. Our place is just full of junk. So what'd you do this weekend? Oh, wait, you were on vacation all last week. Where'd you go again? I went to the Grand Canyon. Wow. I've always wanted to go there. I heard it's beautiful. Well, it's where I grew up. You grew up in the Grand Canyon? Well, I grew up nearby there, yeah. So what did you do while you were there last week? Um, I carried tourists on my back on the narrow trails down to the bottom of the canyon and back up. You did what? Oh, you didn't know? Know what, Rebecca? I am so sorry. I thought you knew. I'm a burro. You're a burro? Yes. Like the animal. Well, we're all animals, but yes. Gosh, Rebecca, I would have never known. You look nothing like a burro. I get that a lot. Now, a burro, is that just a small horse? It's a small donkey-type animal. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I thought you knew. No, you know, I never knew that. Now, is Jerry a burro, too? Yes, I married that sly little burro. So do you... Oh, never mind. What, Dolores? Do you have a tail? Dolores, that's a pretty stereotypical question. Do you think every burro has a tail? I'm sorry, Rebecca. It's okay. Oh, great. Look who's standing over there. Mr. Staley. Oh, jeez. The purpose of a smoke break is to get away from your boss. He is such a jackass. Oh, Rebecca, I am so sorry. I didn't mean it. No, don't worry about it. Even though yours was unintentional, I'm used to the prejudice comments. They come with being a burro. Rebecca... Can I ask you another question about being a burro? Sure. It's just that I am so intrigued. I've never talked to a burro before. What is it? Well, it's just that my little Timmy is having his fifth birthday party this Saturday, and I think the kids would get a kick out of you. Dolores! We could give them oats and you could eat out of their little hands. I had no idea that you were such a bigot. You better watch what you say. I could turn you in for those comments. You mean I could get fired for making offensive comments about a burro? Of course, it's harassment in the workplace. What's it called, burro harassment? Yes, burro harassment. Well, that's not fair. They don't have bunny harassment. What are you talking about? Wait, you didn't know? <laughs>